Hi everyone, today I will be presenting on the third bit AL implementation through Verilog. In this presentation, we will walk through the design, simulation, and testing of an arithmetic logical unit, which is a critical component in digital power. We will discuss the working of the ALU, how it handles various operations, and how we can implement it using Verilog, a hardware description language. Okay? We have studied about ALU, but many people we have don't know about what exactly ALU is. ALU is a combinational circuit. Okay? It will perform various operations in the modern digital CPUs. We all know that every CPU has an ALU, and this ALU we need to analyze how it performs. It is very critical in the modern digital process. Okay, today we are going to do a 32 bit ALU. Why especially 32 bit ALU? Because modern systems given high processing power and precision, which is a 32 bit architecture only. Widely used processors like RISC V and other embedded system, all these things have 32 bit ALU. Like STM32 and many other processors have only implemented in 32 bit ALU also. Okay, this is the architecture of the ALU. Here we are performing some operations, and all these operations output will be given to the multiplexer. Yeah, this is the methodology of the 32 bit ALU. First, we need to get the input from A and B. Next, we need to select the input from the selection line and it will perform various operations and we need to output the result as a waveform and also in the text. This is a 30-bit ALU. These are the inputs A and input 1 and input 2. We need to give these inputs to these operations and the output will be given to the multiplexer. The multiplexer will select the signals and it will be output will be shown here. Here I have used logism. It is not necessary for the project for only for better understanding, I have covered this. Okay. Yeah, this is here very large code. Why we need to use very large code? Very large is a hardware description language. It will be very easy to code also. Okay. Yeah, this is the 30 bit ALU. Okay. Here, every very large code, we need to put a module here. Okay. We need to instant take a module and also what is the input we have? We need to give here. Yeah, this input one will be A, this input two will be. P, okay, uh, this input will be given here, and uh, what it what does it means? It is how many bits we need to implement here. This is the zero one zero bit, first bit, second bit, and uh, this is the thirty one bit. So we have to insert this as thirty one is to zero. Okay, it means that zero a one a two a and such like that. We also give the input to also like that. Okay, uh, then we need to give what is the input we have given? Yeah, here. Here the selection line of the multiplexer also a input, which is here it is uh, a three bit. Okay, so we need to give that two is to zero. We can also give it as three is to one also. Okay, this is a ALU selection input. And uh, what is the output here? Here also the output, but what we need to see is this this output only. So we have mentioned output ALU out. Okay, here also we get thirty one is to zero, which, is, which means indicates that thirty two bit ALU output. Okay, why we have mentioned here, which means in very long there will be three codings. One is behavioral, gate level, structure. Okay, here this code will be written in behavioral. How to implement this a behavioral? Yeah, there will be a block known always a store begin. This is a code of behavior. Whenever we use this always, output will be rich here. Okay, yeah, then we need to go to always block. This is this case is similar to the case we use in C. Okay, whatever mentioned in the always block, it will perform all these operations. Okay, then it will go to the case block. Case will perform each and every uh, block even according to the input. Suppose we have given that 0, 0, 0 as a multiplexer selection lines input, then the ALU output will perform not of A. Okay, which will be given here. Okay, this is the not and what will what is the input means here the input. One will be a. this A will perform not A and this will be given to the multiplexes zero line. And whenever we, we input selection line as zero zero zero, we get not get output. Okay, here. Yeah. yeah. We need to check zero zero one means what is zero zero one? We need to perform or gate. Here is the or gate and the two input. What is the two input? A or B. This is the operation that will be given in very long. For our operations, we need to you a as well as the b input to the or or functional block and it will these output will be given as 
zero zero one of multiplexes input. Okay, yeah. For all these cases, this will be given here. Okay, for every selection line, it will perform some operations. Okay, and the default case will be here. The default case will be all the bit will be zero. Okay, and uh, and we need to in this case, in case, and also we need to put in here for this always block okay and uh, this module will be ended here by using n module okay do you understand this yeah this is the test bench for 32 bit AAU okay we first we need to verify the very lock block using this this official test bench only okay for this also written in module okay what we need to analyze is that the input will be reg here okay the input will be need to put as reg Whatever the input we have given in here, A, B, A, L, U selection will be the input, and all this input will be replaced by here, reg, okay? And the output will be replaced with here by wire. Here, the output, A, the output will be the wire here, okay? Do you understand this? Yeah. Then we need to instantiate the A, L, U. How to instantiate the A, L, U? First, we need to give this A, L, U 32 bit. What is that A, L, U 32 bit means? Yeah. It is the very low code module. Like we have mentioned here, this is the module name which have we mentioned in the video code. This video code will be written as an instantiation in the test bench, okay? And uh, what is here written here will be this coding's input. We have uh, mentioned the same input. Whatever mentioned in this uh, A, B, A, L, U selection, A, L, U output will be also here in A, L, U, B, cell, A, L, U selection output, okay? A, L, U output. So, we can write this as if, if we want to modify this, we can do this also, okay? Yeah. Next, we need to, at the initial block, we need to begin first. And we, this is not necessary to analyze the input-output waveform. We need to dump these as a VCD file. That's why I have mentioned here as dump.vcd, okay? First, I have produced this in test case A equal to 7 and B equal to 1, sir, okay? Here, all the 32 bit will be 32 bits. It is this hexadecimal format. Okay, we need to convert this decimal to hexadecimal. In both decimal and hexadecimal, the seven value will be seven. Okay, the for p value one will be one. Okay, if we what happen if we if we perform this operation in not bit, we need to make the a l u selection line as zero 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 to analyze the output. Like here, I have mentioned all these test bench cases. We need to put all these test bench cases like. 0, 0, 0 first. After 10 second delay, we need to perform 0, 0, 1, which is our operation. For all this, we need to perform all the remaining test cases here. At the end, we need to stop all this and, uh, and the end module, which will be mentioned above, the initial will be ended here and the end module indicates that modules end. Okay. Yeah. That's, this is how the output will look like. Okay. Simulation will form and the results here. We can analyze the output in both the ways, like we can also display the output in the text format also okay yeah okay. here i have used a logism for this verification okay yeah here i will provide all these states uh, for time consuming i will just mention how to perform this input the input how will get the input the input will be given as this okay if we want to change this to like this we need to make this data bits as 32 okay we can get this box as well. These not are and negation. All these optional box will be presented here. Okay. Yeah. And here we can give all these optional box input as here. What happened? We can check each and everyone. Okay. Each and everything presented here. Okay. Uh, if I put let's check this. We have given the input as seven and the input one a is seven and the input two b is one. If we perform the zero zero wait okay for run we need to press this hand symbol and perform this zero okay if zero 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 means what will happen this what will be there not get input it will get output as opposite like that if the input is zero then the output will be one this will perform this okay uh, don't waste your time we can move into the addition okay what will be the addition we can uh, make the selection line as one zero zero for addition for one zero zero i have click here so the selection line will make addition of both the bits. What is the output we need to analyze? Here it will be 7 and here it will be 1. And what is the addition of this? 7 plus 1 equal to 8. That will be outputted here. Okay. This is how the logic of 
that is a bit JLU works. Okay. For simulating this, I have you can use any tools like Vesta, Vivado. Yeah. First, we need to search for the EDA playground.com and this I this is how the EDA playground.com will look like. We need to paste our code here. Here will be the Hedilla code and here will be the test bench code. Yeah, after pasting the code, this will be here. If you need this code, you can kindly refer learn your autonomous website. Okay. Yeah. This is the very large code and this is the test bench code. First we need to select tools and simulators. In the first we need to analyze this. You can check that in the languages and libraries. Click the system very lock and very lock here. And then in the tools and simulators, choose Aldec Viverio Pro 2023.04 and then enable this open EP wave after that. Okay. Yeah. Then save this code and yeah, this will take that. Oh, okay. Then we need to run this code. Okay. Yeah, this is how the output will look like. Okay. The EP wave is opening. Yeah, this is how the output will look like. Here, the uh, AB is consistently repeating again. If we, if we don't want this, we can delete this. Okay. This is the input we have given 7. And this is the input we have given in the B. It is 1. Okay. If the selection line is 0, what will it perform? It will give the all gate. Okay. Then it will be like that. F, 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 at the last A. We can analyze this. We can verify this using logician also. If all the input was 0, see this. Here all these 7 bits was F and the last it will be A. This is the binary to hexadecimal code here. Let's perform that addition like 100 zero zero, which is presented here. Here it is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 means addition. So if we check the 4, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and the 4 what will happen? Addition will perform. 7 plus 1 which is equal to 8 here. It will be also displayed here because we have dis used the display here. Like if not operation the output will be this. For our operation the output will be this. This is how we can implement with a bit ALU using EDA playground. If you have any doubts, please mention these doubts in comment box. Okay. This is all about the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share and subscribe for learning tools. Thank you so much.